Hi all, welcome to Street Solar Life. I hope you have seen a lot of videos related to the solar panel design for your locations. Uh, all over India we have uh, published our videos on our YouTube channels. Uh, I hope you have got some information about uh, solar panel system design, how it's supposed to be. We want uh, you to be clear. The solar panel performance is purely based upon the weather condition and the panel specifications and how you are going to install it. So, uh, that's how we are trying to explain everything here. Uh, uh, I think uh, I have covered um, all over the state in India and uh, of course uh, we are going to put a lot many um, uh, videos related to this application basis uh, going forward. Uh, today we are going to uh, discuss about uh, one uh, location, solar panel design for one particular location. So even we have uh, given the same kind of uh, um, example locations we have uh, telecast through other channels which is published in Tamil, one of the Tamil channel. Um, so I have taken uh, um, that particular locations. Uh, we, we are going to explain here how it's supposed to be. Yeah, let's see uh, what uh, we have considered here. Uh, I think um, um, you, you may got uh, a more clear, I mean, more idea about the solar panels, right? So we want you to be clear. The system is supposed to be uh, how you are designing that. Uh, it's a lot of, lot of uh, um, design criteria how to take into account uh, when you are considering um, when you are installing the system for the next 25 years. As I said before, could be designed for the 2 or 5 years or 10 or 20. It's up to you. It's purely based upon the budgets, how you are allocating the budgets so at the beginning stage. Uh, if you do it well at the beginning stage, of course, you can avoid uh, a uh, lot of operating costs at later stage. So today we are going to see the solar panel uh, design for one particular location. So that will be the uh, one of the famous tourism spot in India. It's called uh, Kanyakumari. Uh, it's located in Tamil Nadu state of India. Uh, it's extremely south edge. It's ex ex exactly the edge of the India. You could say here. You can see in maps uh, Kanyakumari. Uh, here uh, we have sorry. <coughs> We have considered the latitude and longitude would be 8.07 and 77.55. So that's the locations uh, we have uh, taken into the account. As I said before, when you are using the solar panels, uh, you have to see the solar panels and as well as you have to see the what uh, loads you are going to drive. If you are putting more panel, if you are putting very low loads, you, you already spend a lot of money on the systems. Uh, yeah. And if you put a panel very less, if you're driving the load more, then again you are going to spend a lot of money in future. So we have to be very careful to make the systems at the beginning stage. If you're ready to spend 5 lakhs or 10 lakhs uh, for your budgets, you have to uh, work out more on the systems at the beginning stage. Uh, we are also doing the consulting for all of the world, uh, wherever the customer need the accuracy level for the solar, we are here to help you. Yeah. And uh, so that's the locations. Uh, now we are going to see the solar panels uh, designs. Let's see what load we have considered for these uh, locations. Uh, we have considered, I think, uh, almost a uh, lot of lights, a lot of uh, floodlights, even the OHP motor and other loads, kind of router, electronics, a lot of things we have considered. Almost it's going to come every day. You need to uh, generate uh, something around 14.5 units for these locations. So in this case, um, we have uh, uh, sized those panels. Uh, what panels? What kind of panel? Because we uh, generally consider uh, the polycrystal slides the more budget for these locations. So of course, if you have more budget, you can go ahead with the mono panel too. So uh, here uh, we have a cancer, uh, you need to generate uh, almost 14 for 5 units uh, early, uh, not early, it could be a daily basis. If you see the early, something around 5,230 units you are required uh, for the early. Okay, so here, uh, as I said before, uh, in a lot of videos, we have said, I have said uh, uh, you have to see the weather conditions. So whatever the readings we are telling on this video, it's purely based upon the weather conditions. Here we have taken all the climatic conditions we have taken into the account as well as um, uh, we have uh, seen the panel specifications and then a lot of uh, characteristics we have to consider kind of deteriorating, dust, aging, etc. We have to see that. 
so we have considered all the stuff on the systems uh, as well as uh, so based upon this load you need to generate this many units uh, uh, per day and early 5000 plus units are required from that area if you are shifting uh, same kind of load to some areas far from the distance so you are going to lose the panel reading of course uh, so you have to calculate the uh, solar panels calculations based upon the locations not uh, something else uh, yeah it's not uh, it's purely uh, you know sometimes you know uh, some gentleman comes up with uh, some kind of uh, stuff that's not going to be work uh, if you uh, forecast for next uh, if you see physically for next uh, 10 or you know after uh, years goes uh, you lose the data basically you were you lose um, uh, you, you may feel uh, uh, I think you lost something on systems so you have to spend uh, um, more uh, work at the beginning stage or not at the later stage or not after the post installation yeah so according to this uh, load uh, we have considered all the panel losses aging factor derating as well as a lot of things we have considered here so to achieve these uh, uh, units uh, you need to generate these units so what uh, panel reading is required for the location you have to uh, go with uh, 16 number of panels almost you have to put 300 plots uh, WB panels you will need to go with that uh, yeah as well as um, uh, you can it's up to you whether you want to store the energy or if you are going with the uh, on grid uh, okay in case if you are going with the off grid you have to go with almost uh, 200 h of that is almost 10 uh, uh, batteries required uh, if you are designing the system as 24 voltage that is fine uh, if you are this designing the system to 48 voltage then you have to increase the number of batteries too yeah um, so the panel the solar panels the design is purely based upon you have to see like how the how the load factor how you are driving the loads uh, uh, you have to see the hours uh, you are operating on the morning to uh, um, uh, noon or noon to evening uh, or you are doing it the night uh, so you have to take all the stuff you know all the system into the account all the criteria you have to take into the accounts and then you have to do a lot of uh, characteristics uh, when you select the batteries as well uh, you have to see your temperature corrections lot of uh, batteries calculations you have to consider so uh, you have to see the DOD as well so that uh, if you put a battery in span like span of five years it could uh, increase of plus uh, um, additionally or uh, two or three years up to uh, like how you are maintaining yeah uh, so you have to concentrate at the beginning stage not at the latter stage uh, uh, so um, I think uh, I have covered all the points here um, if you have uh, any concerns uh, related to the solar panels or if you are designing well at the beginning stage you probably you can upload street solar life at gmail.com so we are here to help you as well as many people have been involved in the solar port projects uh, could be an installation team or it could be a project companies if you have more concerns of the system how it's supposed to be if you want to double check the systems or how it's supposed to be if you want to give a perfect reading to your customer probably you can approach us we are here to help you um, and uh, we have given the, our contact number as well uh, um, and the distributions you could see there as well as uh, if you are all, or making a very um, big projects uh, like if you want to segregate the load you are not sure what kind of load supposed to be segregated based upon the uh, systems in this case uh, you can upload street solar life at gmail.com um, I think um, I have covered all this point uh, uh, we are going to um, um, uh, release a lot of energy saving uh, technologies uh, like going for a couple of months it will take uh, it will be more helpful for the solar installations people um, particularly when you have uh, different type of batteries you want to be managed uh, uh, you want to segregate the on grid off grid uh, so a lot of things you have to do you have if you want to make a logic circuits for the solar in perfect way probably you can watch uh, street solar life at gmail uh, street solar life youtube channel as well as you can put a mail to street solar life at gmail.com um, and um, i think who are watching this video you may subscribe this channel uh, probably you will get more benefit uh, when you see our channels we are going to release a lot of products related to the solar and new technologies as well yeah and thank you for watching this video thanks bye